So essentially you put the book underneath the screen, this is the clear view screen, yes, you've put, magnified it to a certain level. Yes, I put the book under the screen and it has a, a heavy glass plate mm -hmm. that will keep the, uh, keep the pages of the book even and level so that it's not skew if mm. and when it's skewed it won't come up too well mm. on the, it, it'll well, I'll demonstrate you see yeah. see now that's no good I can't have that yeah. so instead of the page drifting about you flatten this, it, uh, yes. this very very handy device is well yeah. thought of okay. and now I um, I'll set the uh, I'll set the book up and the page up under the uh, under the screen and I'll adjust the uh, I'll adjust the size of the uh, print to suit me. Mm -hmm. Now that suits me well. Um, and now uh, um, to end it is an invective against books of chivalry, which Aristotle never dreamed of. Uh, St. Basil never mentioned, and uh, Cicero, Cicero never came across, um, nor do the niceties of truth of the observations of astrology fall within the uh, scope of its fabulous extravagances. Fantastic. I'll stop you there because that is really terrific. The, I think people seeing this video can see the size of the print. We're talking about print now that's magnified over two inches tall. Yes, that's right. Um, and yet you're, uh, that's a serious vision loss. Uh, that's what we would call a significant low vision. Mm -hmm. And you were reading that quite fluently, Ross. So yes. um, Not everybody could read as fluently as you did at that magnification, but, no. but you were reading very well. No, that's good to see that... Uh... And you can reduce the magnification. Some people will be able to read at the size that you have there, which yes. is nice that you can fit it across the screen. But most people with macular degeneration would struggle to read at that size. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The um, um, now, if if um, um, I think it's a fantastic invention, but if I had to be critical of it. Um, I'd say that uh, um, the means of uh, of operating it are central. Mm -hmm. Well, now that might be seen to be a good thing, but I find that once in a while I'll bump it. And it's funny, it's funny that you should say that, Ross, because this, this is the slightly older model that we have here. The model that's replaced it has taken on board that exactly what you said, and this is one of the things about constant development innovation. And they have made this control removable so that you can have books without bumping the control. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. Yeah, and, and this is part of the constant development of equipment, is taking on board those sorts of issues. Yes. Yeah. Well, if I had to be critical, that would be one thing. Hmm. Um, then I uh, I can't understand the need for this button on the left hand side that yes. gives us all sorts of colours. Yes, yes. Well, it's interesting because what what that button does is it will give you, as you say, different coloured backgrounds and so on, so that we could have this that the this colour here, so um, these colours here. Um, and the reason is that some people do actually see this better. I see. Um, yes. Yeah. Maybe yes. 